This literally happened. I'm dead scared and nobody is answering the phone. Okay. So before this story begins, I would like to clarify that I'm a 28-year-old woman and I am from France. Therefore, English is not my native language. So, this happened to me and I am sure I will not be able to sleep. My boyfriend is not answering the phone and I need to get this out. My company organized an event for the clients and the staff at a luxury hotel. Everyone partied and I got into my room an hour ago. It is 3 hours and 27 minutes in the morning right here. Like, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, a guy entered my room with a bottle of water. He woke me up. I was super scared. He says someone called from my room to order a bottle of sparkling water. Weird explanation. There is a mini bar actually. And there is a corridor in the room before entering where I am in bed. So, basically, I'm half naked in my bed. He comes closer to me at the level of the table, apologizing for the inconvenience, but he is still here. And I kid you not. Eh? I kid you not. He starts talking to me, saying how he's going to be in trouble, etc, etc, and how someone called and he's so sorry and the others got in the hotel super drunk and it must have been a mistake and so on, etc, etc, etc. I swear, he has been standing super close to my bed for like 5 minutes and I was so shocked. I was just saying, uh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I just got scared, really, no problem, just go. Well, he says he doesn't see me well, and he asks for my name twice. He then says, okay, well, uh, so I guess I will, I will wish you a good night then. Mwah. He kisses me on the cheek, like we French folks do. But once again, I'm half naked in my bed, dead scared, and he is in a suit, all dressed up, literally. I don't even know what I could have done or what I should have done. He left after the longest minutes, saying how he was sorry and how he would appreciate that I don't tell anyone. And now, the phone in the room just rang. I don't know if I still should be scared. Was he just confused by the mistake? I am super scared though. I cannot think right now. My heart is still racing. I just need to have some rational feedback after this. Really, I really need that. And yes, for the people wondering, I'm fine. 34 hours later, I'm fine. But there are some things that I need to tell right here. Oh, uh, and how did he get into your room to begin with? Did you inform reception or management? Was he an actual hotel employee? Last question, what ended up happening, if anything at all? Well, in order to answer your question appropriately, I will say this. He got into the room just with his pass. He was the hotel night manager, or so he claimed. So. He had a key that opened every single room. He got suspended for the moment, but I hope he will face heavier consequences. And yes, one more time to what I was saying, 34 hours later, I'm fine. As I wrote in the post to check if I misunderstood the situation, I didn't go into much details. I was just scared and I had no support system at the moment, so I was hoping to find a reality check here on Reddit. Oh my god, little did I know that the post needed to be checked before being published, so all in all I went back to blowing my friends phones. This is some of the information that was missing when I first posted this. Number 1 
I was really half naked in my bed and hidden by my blanket. So, this all happened while I was laying in bed, in the bed, and hiding my body with the blanket, including the kisses on the cheeks and the conversation, and stuff like that. I do boxing, I lift weights, and I am enough in shape to feel that I can defend myself usually, but here I didn't want the dude to see me naked, and I was obviously vulnerable, in a vulnerable position, and, oh my god, just woke up while I, he was well awake. Also, what the guy told me was this, he said he was in charge of security during the night, so, he was the night manager of the hotel, in charge of Receptuale. That's Receptuale. R E C E P T O I L E R. So, I didn't call the reception or anything because I didn't want him to answer. Back to what happened afterwards. My sister finally answered the phone. I was still in my bed because I was still processing what was happening. And. I still felt that if I got up, someone would see me naked. I started explaining the situation and I started realizing what actually happened. I had a panic attack and I started crying. My sister told me to call the police ASAP. But I was still in shock, still confused about the situation. And maybe he was confused and it was a mistake after all. I don't want him to get in trouble if he had no bad intentions. LOL. I swear I was not in my right goddamn mind. Then my sister told me that there was no way she would hang up before I am safe and with someone. I couldn't thank her enough for staying in the phone and not leaving me. After a few minutes I felt safe enough to get up and put some clothes on. The light of the main room was not working, so I was in the dark mostly. I said to my sister I wanted to leave the place as sap and that I would see later for the rest, but at that moment I just wanted to go home. I don't drive, and home is like 4 hours away, but luckily we were in the mountains so buses start circulating early. I could pack my things still in the phone, still crying, still super scared, and I could wait in front of the door for two hours for the first bus, blocking it with my bags and my now dress body. It felt so good to have some clothes on. I then got out of the hotel using the door that was not linked to the front desk and I literally ran to get a bus. I consider myself safe after I took the train at 6.30 in the morning and I hung out with my sister. I fell asleep in the train. 30 minutes later, a friend of mine calls back. I started explaining to him and I had a massive realization. What the fuck? Seriously, this perf is a fucking threat to society and he is going down. I started recollecting all my memories, I was practically sure that I had remembered his first name. I wrote what happened to my boss, telling her that I'm not going to stay for the second part of the event as I had an emergency. Of course, insert here what actually happened. I'm going to the police as soon as the train arrives. My bosses handled the hotel part and the guy has been easily tracked, as he was indeed the night manager of the hotel. He confessed everything to the hotel manager and he got suspended. Oh my, this never happened and he was highly recommended by his previous employers, the manager said. But I am sure this was not the first time that he did it and I am sure he is fucking dangerous. I feel stupid I didn't collect that bottle of water as I am now certain it contained GHB or probably another substance or another drug. Actually, I had never seen the guy before. You know, according to him, he only works the night and he specified the room that called so he knew that I was going to be alone in this room. 
He must have tracked me on the security cameras when I got back to the hotel, waiting for me to be asleep. He waited half an hour or so, and expecting me to be drunk, and to fucking drink his sparkling water. Please write that down between quotation marks, because I'm being super ironic. On my side, I went to the police and they couldn't find a proper qualification for the crime. They would have done it if I had proof that there were drugs in this bottle, for example. So, I first made a declaration and I'm going back to the police later today at 7.30 for a proper deposition. I stalked the guy on the net and he has been a night manager in various hotels for years, so now I hope I will find some other victims to push the investigation further. Because I'm afraid that if it's only me, nothing will happen to him at all, as he didn't actually harm me and he will just get away with it. Sometime later, I went to the police and yes, for the people wondering, I spent three hours with the police yesterday night to report the incident. I asked to be part of the instruction, which means I will be able to ask the prosecutor to demand some information, like, for example, the list of the times he used his badge to enter a room at night and the name of the persons who were in it. Just in order to check how many times he did it, and I really hope it will work, but any minute I spend talking about it, reporting it, investigating it, it's a very well spent minute. Couldn't have been a better use of a Saturday night. Update number two. Surprise, surprise. It was not the first time he did it. Five days later. Okay, so, I got back to work yesterday and I got called into my boss who is a woman, office. She told me that she needed me 100% here, so if I needed some time to process any trauma, I would be more than welcome to take a few days off, as she doesn't want to find me having a massive breakdown in two weeks. I explained to her that frankly, I was afraid of what would have happened if I had been more vulnerable, drunk, or if I didn't wake up or if I had drunk the water and I kept thinking about it. I kid you not, she goes like this. Uh, actually, I don't think the guy is as dangerous as you, what's what you think. I perfectly see who that is. I got back from the event at midnight or so and he insisted to walk me back to my room, which of course I didn't mind. He then used his key to open my room as sometimes the keys to the room don't work. He tried to enter but didn't insist too much because I am visibly pregnant, you see? I was shocked already but she then went on. And actually, he entered the room of the two other women we had at the event that same night and they talked about it during breakfast. How a random guy from the staff entered the room at night, one for an issue with electricity that didn't exist, but she was awake, so for her it was not too traumatic. The other was in her bed too, and I don't remember what she said he was here for, but she was quite scared. We all gossiped about it at breakfast. They didn't want that poor deranged kid to be in trouble and weren't too shocked, so you actually are the only one who reported it. Okay, now that I have told you what my boss said, I have a question. How the hell did they go back to sleep after that? How was I the only one to report it? At the same time, I feel relieved that I didn't escape, ugh, that I didn't escape Ted fucking Bundy here. But I am so, so, so mad. Oh my god, this means it must be his daily routine and he must feel sexually aroused at women being scared in front of him. Ugh, I don't even know what to think at that point. The good thing is that he was suspended. The case is still open. 
Thanks for listening.